Hi, uh, this is Dave Jack, Superintendent of Falcon County Public Schools with my uh, second edition this year of Three Great Things. Wanted to talk about three things uh, that uh, occurred in Falcon County Schools this week. And I wanted to start with something I've never seen before. Uh, the head custodian at Auburn Middle School, a gentleman by the name of Gary Qualick, um, he actually produces a newsletter a custodial newsletter for his school. And I thought this was pretty amazing. One, I'd never seen it before. And and two, for someone to take the time out to do this, uh, particularly during this time with everything that's going on with COVID, et cetera. Uh, and it's very, very good. It includes information about um, what's contained in the, in the cleaning materials, supplies, et cetera. Uh, talks about ways uh, to the you know best ways to disinfect. Um, talks about um, you know the the process of cleaning within buildings, et cetera, et cetera. It's very good. And thanks, Gary, for doing this. And, and you know the custodians are often our our uh, unsung heroes in any school division, and they never get the credit they deserve. So shout out to Gary. At, at Auburn and to all of our custodians who uh, are just doing a phenomenal job and we very much appreciate the work that that you're doing. Um, the second thing I, I, I saw, it, and this is a program that's sort of near and dear to my heart, it's the transitions program. Uh, the uh, the uh, person who leads that program, uh, Mrs. Kuda, she actually posted on social media a um, virtual cooking lesson. Uh, kids, part of the, the, the training that the kids in the transition program experience includes uh, preparing meals, meals preparation. And I was uh, really thrilled to see her doing an online virtual cooking demonstration for her students. And um, again, that's just sort of another example of someone uh, going above and beyond, really applying some 21st century teaching strategies for kids and um, very much appreciate that. So thanks, Ms. Kuda and all the folks over at the Transition Center, which is located on Main Street in Warrington in the Oddfellows Building, to be exact. Last but not least, uh, I want to shout out and, and, and show appreciation to all the principals and schools who agreed to host an Internet Cafe and uh, it looks like the vast majority of those cafes will open uh, uh, post Labor Day. And uh, I know the principals are reaching out to families uh, currently uh, to identify those folks who still don't have um, internet service. And a special shout out to Taylor Middle School and Nick Napolitano who um, opened his up, opened his virtual, uh, excuse me, internet cafe this past Monday. Uh, earlier and he got his as soon as we long story short as soon as we started discussing this and, and trying to make it a possibility and figuring out what the timeline would, would, would need to be uh, Nick and the staff at Taylor jumped on it immediately and wanted to wanted to get there started sooner rather than later so they actually started this past Monday um, still some things to iron out with um, with those uh, those internet cafe programs but the Part, part of the reason why we, we use that first week, um, the first week of school, in quotation marks, as more of an orientation week was to give us time to identify problems and come up, come up with solutions and not penalize kids in terms of um, not, not being able to, to receive uh, direct instruction during the first week. Now, we're still continuing to have um, internet device issues that we're working through, but um, one of the things that came through loud and clear during the first week is we have kids who have no internet access and uh, there's no prospect of having internet access for a variety of reasons. So those, those cafes will, will um, serve those kids. Uh, hope everyone has a great week and great weekend. And um, we'll be back next weekend with, excuse me, next week with another edition of Three great things, and uh, hope everyone has a great weekend.